Hi beautiful, today we're watching people mix all of their hair dyes together all in one concoction and color their hair with it. Should be interesting. This video is by Sarah Pan. As you can see, my hair is teal. I'm not gonna try to purge my hair of this color. I'm just gonna apply whatever mixture we have on top of this. I mean, that's fine because you are about to mix every single color together. You might as well just put it on top of your already tealish blue hair, right? It can't go any more wrong. Uh, well, it probably will go bad, but you know what I mean. I guess that I that's more elements of mystery as to what color my hair will turn out. I mean, your hair is probably gonna turn a really ugly brown color. It's probably not gonna be a great look. The first one is this. Okay, we're putting violet in. The next one is this pink color. It looks like she's even mixing demi-permanent and semi-permanent together, so <laughs> should be interesting. I don't know how that's gonna work. This is a red from Arctic Fox. This is gonna be so ugly. I'm sorry, it's, it's gonna be bad. And then I have a blue color. Those are the colors that I had on hand. Quite frankly, I already know what color it would turn out to be. It would be like violet or purple. If I mix all that together since it's literally just like pink and blue. So I went out and got yellow. Oh, can't wait. Gotta add that yellow in there to make a poopy brown. Enough talking. I think we're ready to dye my hair. And so let us begin. I mean, I hope it comes out as not a poopy, ugly brown color, but it probably will be a poopy, ugly brown color. But let's see what happens when she mixes them all together. Gonna add some of that in. Okay, violet first. My hair's a little light right now, so I want it to be a bit darker so that the roots blend better. But that's the state of my hair right now. Wow, your hair is like the blackest black any black could have possibly be. Like it is so dark. And I'm sure you already know that. I'm just shocked by how dark your natural hair is. It's quite impressive actually. And this one's turned super liquidy. So I'm actually gonna pour all this blue in and then some red. Ooh, this is getting to be an interesting mixture. And then finally some yellow. And I will show you guys- Palms are getting a little sweaty. After I put it in. I don't know why, it's not my hair. We will camera set up right now, but there's the yellow. There are so many different hair color consistencies going into this one mixture. I don't even know how she's gonna mix it up, honestly. I'm gonna put a lot in because I know there's a lot of red and blue tints in here. The last time I did this to my own hair, yeah, I know, I, I did. I did in fact mix all of my hair colors together and color my hair with it. And it turned out to be like a brown purple. I feel like that often happens when you do this. So I'm expecting that here. The purple pigment is really strong. It looks brown, but I can still tell that it's kind of like purple. <laughs> Hopefully it isn't purple because I just do not want more purple hair. Okay, it's looking. <laughs> Oh, I'm just gonna be honest. It looks like a really ugly brown. Sorry. I mean, uh, I had to say, I had to get it off my chest. It looks like a really mucky, ugly brown. No, stop. Don't do it. She's making her way around the head. It's looking worse and worse. I hope she doesn't like the outcome because I'm really not being very nice right now. I mean, it's fine. It'll probably be like a really interesting purpley brown, right? Like we can live with that. I mean, if she doesn't like it, she can always like put more brown on top of it. She can even go back to her natural color, which I think would look beautiful on her. I really like her with dark hair, but like, I don't know. It is also fun having her have colorful hair. Okay, it's starting to look darker and darker as it processes and um, it's actually looking pretty promising. I'm intrigued and the results actually might not be as bad as I thought they were gonna be. So sorry for being so, so brutal a second ago. I've changed in the past minute. <laughs> Can we just talk about how she's taking her time? She's doing section by section and it's looking up pretty well done. She's actually distributing the color onto each hair strand, which I so appreciate and sort of sectioning. Um, It looks like a very dark chocolate brown. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit longer and then I'm gonna wash my hair and then we'll come back and we'll see the final result. Because it's semi-permanent color, I feel like it's gonna be a lot lighter than what she thinks it's looking like right now. Oh! So. This is the hair. Oh. This is the first more natural looking hair color that I've had in a really, really long time. Oh. I am quite enjoying this. I'm glad the color took more evenly than I expected. I was so worried I'd come out with like blue patches in my hair, but that didn't happen. Let me just show you guys the back, which I haven't seen yet. So maybe there are blue patches back there, but. It's not an ugly color whatsoever. I think she looks really pretty with it, but I just would love for it to be like a lot richer. Like if she like filled the hair before she colored it brown, it'd be so much more vibrant and like, there's just a little bit of light spots going on, but I think it's overall a good color for her. 
I like the brown. I do wish it was like a little bit more ash tone, but like it's good. And for mixing every single color together and not really like measuring anything, like you got a pretty good brown color. So guys, if you want brown, you know, obviously just mix all the primary colors together and you'll get a cute looking brown. This video is by Nomi John. Today we're gonna be mixing all of my hair colors together. So she has a pretty similar starting color to the last girl and I wonder if they're gonna get the same brown color or it's gonna be like a little different. I hope it's not ugly. I don't want more ugly. <laughs> I want like a nice brown, you know? I want like a <laughs> vibrant brown. So here's my head. Oh! Dye. In this That's a lot of colors. Towel. And actually I found some more hair dye in my cupboard. What is that? What is that hair dye? Oh my god, is that X Mondo? Looking up iconic and standing out from the pack. Ew, that is such a... Okay, maybe that's already enough. I have no idea how much I should be adding from everything. That is not the same ratio, but it's fine. Okay, we got yellow and blue going in there. This is literally already full. I also have this neutral mix from Crazy Color, so I'm also gonna be putting that in there. If you mix all colors, what's gonna be the end result? Brown. Maybe it's like a grayish brown, like a very undefined, dirty brown. Right, we know it's gonna be brown, but like, what type of brown? Because you can also have like brown with like undertones of red, blue, green, a lot of things. It could be really, 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 really ugly. It could, okay? Listen, mine was, uh, the time I did it, it was hideous. Let's do X Mondo color now. That's me. Pink, I got blue, I got purple. Oh my God. <laughs> Ooh, that X Mondo color is so pretty. So here's the blue dye. Oh my God, why am I not wearing my gloves yet? <laughs> do you think I'm actually gonna be going out? Of this with brown hair. Ew. Nomi John, I can't imagine you with brown hair. I don't know, maybe it'll look really good. I mean, I feel like she would just look very like normal, but with like wild makeup. I feel like the whole like hair with the makeup, like it all works together in unison. One without the other, it's just like not her. It's not. She's gonna be mixing these colors for four hours. Like her bowl is not even like that much filled up. She's fully putting every single color in this bowl. Girl. Let's hurry up, uh, I don't have all day. So here is the final product, not mixed product, but this is what it looks like. Oh my God, that's really pretty looking. <laughs> what if she just like dumped it on instead of mixing it up and like putting it on, it'd be kind of cool. Uh, Ooh. Uh, not gonna lie, this is kind of satisfying. It kind of is, but also really ugly. Oh, dark. <gasps> this is chocolate brown. I mean, this is literally what I predicted. We just oh, it's such an ugly brown. Okay, this is not doing it. This is not gonna do anything. What the f It looks really yummy though. No, no, no. I just expected it to be lighter for some reason. Oh my God, this is probably not gonna wash out at all. This is gonna be so difficult to get out. Oh, she's going for it. Ew, it looks like an orangey brown, which also there's no problem with having orangey brown hair. I don't know why I just made that sound like it was gross. Hey, okay, every single second of this. But it do be looking delicious. It's not too late to stop. You can stop now. Okay, she is almost done with her hair. It's looking very much different for her, who's always has the brightest colors. I wonder how she's gonna react to this. I'll see you later with the most horrible reveal ever. No. Oh, I'm scared. Right reveal. Oh, this is gonna be weird. <laughs> Look at my natural. <laughs> this is really horrible. I hate it with all my heart. It's really not that bad. It kind of looks very intentional, but yeah, not her. This doesn't look dyed at all. This just looks like my natural hair color. I mean, my natural hair color is blonde, but like it is definitely lighter than I thought it would be, right? It's also interesting how she has like different tones of brown all over her head and it's not very consistent. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna be the look and it's good that it's not too dark. We can still take this out. Buy some color remover. I hope you can figure out how to get rid of that. But kind of cute. You can rock it. You can rock anything. So note to everybody out there, don't mix all your hair dyes together and color your hair with it because you're going to get a really ugly brown color that is very unpredictable and like, um, I don't want that for you. If you guys want to follow me anywhere else, here are all my social media handles right here. Also check out my hair color and my hair care line link down below, or you can go to our website at xmondohair.com. That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.